we, yes, we had did. a match. Mike, you selected this week's match. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lucha. 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 Lucha Underground. Um, I picked the match between um, – it was, it, was, it was a season two match between um, Prince Puma mm-hmm. and Pentagon Jr. And man, oh, man. When you open the YouTube video and the first thing you see is Mil Muertes with the title – Sitting on his throne, so looking sick. over the arena. God, yeah. I missed that show. Yeah, I forgot it was like that era when it was like, yeah, Muertes looking over everything. Is that season two? That was. I'm pretty sure that was season two. Okay. And and by the way, that throne was made of skulls of people he has murdered. Mm-hmm. One mm-hmm. of them being the Mac. Uh, there- not not the Mac. Excuse me, uh, Big Rick. The production value on it was so cool. That was like the first thing that caught my attention. I feel like they just had wait, really good wait, attention. Have you to never detail. seen Lucha? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like uh, oh, okay, okay, when it okay. when it first when it first came out, I think I like I kind of fell off after the second season. But when it first came out, like I was really hyped on it, just based on just like I like how kind of like dark and high contrast and comic book video gamey it kind of looks like. I think they really did a good job like making it feel different and special but it still still was wrestling still like made sense it wasn't uh didn't feel like it was like trying to be something else it just Mm -hmm. incorporated the whole like lucha aesthetic really tastefully and like really uh like respectfully and like you could tell that all the detail they put into it all the hard work and you know the fans that were coming like to the tapings and stuff you could tell it was super you know specific and dialed in like in the best way possible and it was just really fresh Mm -hmm. and like obviously they they had so many awesome you know like guys that you might have only seen like on the west coast indies like in pwg before lucha underground it was a big launching pad for like a lot of guys and even like m dog um as like son of havoc like i was marking out for that Mm because m dog's awesome and it was just awesome to see him get that opportunity, but like late, I know later on, like Paul London did some really cool stuff. I I've loved, oh, love Paul oh, London. Oh, the Rabbit Tribe. Yeah, that's so, yeah. That cool. Jesus, I forgot about the Rabbit Tribe, which include the now Killer Cross. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, that's and I mean you know by season four, they just straight up did time travel. Mm-hmm. So so I mean it, it, if you were curious to get back into it from where you left off. It's all for free on uh, Tubi.tv. Oh, Tubi's mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's all free on there. That's that because I was watching, mo- like I'd say pretty much all of season one like a couple weeks ago. It's like the first place I saw like in Helico, and I was you know there was still familiar like like Vampiro was there. You mm-hmm. know there was still familiar like if you were you know if you watched wrestling in the nineties there was still you know some familiar faces and stuff which I thought was really cool. It was really cool seeing like ray do his little run there in between Mm -hmm. going back to wwe and stuff and yeah you can just tell that especially yeah like pentagon and stuff like look where most of these guys are now and ricochet especially and like watching this match it just bummed me out i was like why don't they just look they just need to let ricochet do this stuff but Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. that that ring is just like so crazy and and bouncy and like they it it was kind of like it was had that like ecw cult cult vibe the crowd's like just super hyped and those huge mm-hmm. balcony dives mm-hmm. like in helico jumping off that dude that, uh, I, that is you know between the lucha crowd um the couple of crowds that i have experienced other uh, uh you were live for this match right? I, not this match but i was oh, there okay. for like season three i don't think i was there for this okay um and so so between seeing lucha seeing like two or three other sh- shows in california and seeing like wrestling here in this neighborhood, yeah, like that, that that Mexican crowd is like maybe my favorite crowd. So yeah. like <laughs> like it's wild. Um, it, like they, they they just bring a whole different kind of energy that you're just not used to in indie shows. Um, yeah, yeah the cl- the closest thing I got to it was when um, uh, uh, Macron's Jen and I were down in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. And they had the Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling show. Mm-hmm. That show was a trip. <laughs> that was that was absolutely nuts. Mm-hmm. Like, like Morrison it, was there too, right? 
Um, was oh, man, available? I should look up. I think it should have been around there. Um, the show is available. I think I checked. Is the show is still available on Impact Plus? If you want to go back and watch it, really? Because uh-huh. I may actually go back and watch that. I've been wanting. I've been thinking, thinking about popping in on that too. Um, so because I was looking up, it, because I was like, yeah, uh, I'm, all right, I'm looking I, at the whole I, uh, I, I, in the in the couple impact Twitch shows that I approved. They're also I'm on looking there at too, the card so right now. Okay. I was, so, so I was I was digging through all that kind of stuff. So and that was, was about uh, the same era, wasn't it? Like like when I was yeah. working with them out in Dayton, like that they they were doing that. That was a, that was around that same. Yeah, period. I'm I'm I'm, go- I'm I'm just gonna read the whole card because it's awesome. Uh, Matanza. Versus Caleb Conley, Chavo, Jack Evans, Matt Seidel, and Moose in a six-way match. Mm-hmm. Um, Ali and Taya for the Knockouts Championship. Scott Steiner and, well, Teddy Hart uh, versus OVE. Aerostar, Drago, and King Cuerno against Andrew Everett, Desmond, Xavier, and DJZ. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Which, uh, uh, wait, K- King Cuerno was in that match? King Cuerno was in that Interesting, match. Interesting, so since they're that's, a, that's really funny. Since they're a faction now, uh, uh-huh. so that's, that's very that's very humorous. Uh, Trevor Lee, um, mm-hmm. then now Cameron Grimes, had a match with Marty the Moth. Oh, jeez. With Famous B, who Marty the Moth, who I believe just Famous debuted. Famous B is awesome. Um, he's on, he's on Dark tonight. He's on Dark tonight against yeah. uh, Cage. Brian Cage, yeah, 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 and uh, for the Impact Tag Titles. Santana and Ortiz against Killshot and the Mac, which Jeez. I remember that being a bonkers match. Jeez. Was Killshot uh, Swerve? Uh, yeah. Stane Shicklin? Yeah. Yeah, Swerve, yeah, yeah. Swerve, he was Swerve awesome in Lucha Mac. He was awesome. In it, and so was Willie Mac. Mm. Well, like, again, like, just, like, like that PWG, like, crew of, like, that era was just, like, psychotic, like, mm-hmm. insane. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. That's definitely what what got so many of those guys like up and on to to whether it was you know NXT at the time or Lucha Underground like that was literally like you want to be on TV you have a crazy match at PWG and like Regal <laughs> Regal will literally be there like watching like Regal I went to PWG show and it was crazy because Regal I like. I looked over at one point and Regal was just like watching all the matches. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that that's sick. He's definitely here, like scouting and and like and now look at the roster." <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly, right? yeah, yeah, right. But like, he's smart. Like, that's cool. Like, they they had that uh, like top to bottom. But like that mm-hmm. West Coast style is like super lucha. Mm-hmm. Uh, like you like watch like a guy like Brody King. And like ROH and stuff, he's like huge. He's like six four, like probably like yeah. two fifty, like and he's been thirty, or and something. he's been doing New Japan. And yeah, like he's, he's been on, doing, he's, he's been, been doing strong. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, shout out Brody. He's all, he's awesome. I when I went to uh, LA, I got to hang out with him and train at the Santino Brothers School, which is uh, ran by, uh, helped to, like trained by um, Robbie Phoenix, who is like uh, I think his name is Kid Chaos in XPW, mm-hmm. and. I just remember like just going to their training class and getting just like literally just like working out and it got to learn a lot of cool lucha stuff that I've been too scared to try. <laughs> but no. Uh it's just awesome style out there and like they uh they really incorporate like the the lucha style. It's crazy to see the difference between the the East Coast and, and West Coast that way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Do uh, when I got to see it was um oh I can't remember what it's called but it was it was an Enoki dojo and it was like a weird hybrid lucha slash Japanese style. It's like Lee and the wrestling yeah right Tiger style. I mean right right like like uh, like I proto Tiger style. I saw um oh who's the guy he's the, he's the guy that does the um uh, uh, not, is it crazy bone no something bone somebody's gonna get me in the chat room with this um funny bone no that can't be it he has like kind of a skull kind of paint to it but he like he wrestled mv off. not that long ago yeah yeah, yeah i know what you're talking about I, I, I you might be right um so he, he was kind of the big name on that one but like i looked at it in like the wrestling mat like the, it, the, it was a wrestling ring but there was zero give in the ring and it looked like it was just the like amateur wrestling mats on the ring and that was oh, it sure. Like I'm watching these guys take bumps, and I'm like, that ring's not moving at all. At all, it's right? like a stage. Like, yeah, it was. It looked like a stage, and they were doing like they weren't pulling 
you know, like you, you know, they weren't pulling bumps. Yeah. On that thing. And I'm just watching this thing. And Alex Cars was out there with me for that one. And it, I'm just like, I'm like, this is, this is intense out here <laughs> it was ridiculous it was like a back of a warehouse and they sold like i don't know it was like a furniture flooring company in the front <laughs> I'm like, maybe what? they were just rolling on everything i'm like what style yeah yeah i'm like what neighborhood am i no there was no there was some flat there was some top rope flat backs that just oh, look, God. like ugh, like ugh. um but it, yeah no uh, so uh from the chat I think this is talking about your 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 match earlier with uh, at, at New Orleans. He says uh, we saw Jeremiah Crane versus Eddie Edwards in an I Quit match where Eddie uttered the immortal phrase "Fuck you, Solomon Crow," <laughs> <laughs> which would be the. WWE. I thought the hackers gimmick like was a cool idea. I'm bummed. And it's kind of like he's kind of doing it. He's kind of doing it now. Like he's kind of doing like a, a, a homage, you know, crossover kind of thing. I'm glad he's still with Impact. I think he's one. Of the, he's still one of the. Good influences over at Impact. So I just love Johnny Lee Miller hackers. Yes, yes. We have to watch <laughs> hackers again. Uh, it's a masterpiece. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, so I have a match. Oh, okay. Because I was looking up another. Okay, I have match a match for next week. I thought we should do an homage to Kenny Omega, and I thought, no, I'm Mike. I'm not gonna want make you watch a 45 minute match from K Wrestle Kingdom. <laughs> So, <laughs> I feel like you're not gonna. I, that, that was one of those things you had to be there. I feel like. Um, so instead, and I'm putting it in the chat room right now, and it's gonna involve Kenny Omega, but maybe not. Doesn't look like the Kenny Omega you're used to. We're gonna go back to 2008. Ring oh, of man. Honor is bound by hate, and he's in a three-way match against Brian Danielson and Tyler Black. That's. Kenny Omega, <laughs> Daniel Bryan, Just and take over, right? <laughs> Seth Rollins. 